Hey everyone, today we're going to make these really cute Doxy Valentine pillow boxes. You can find two of these for free on my blog in my subscriber library, abbykirstencollections.com, or grab the whole set in the shop. Um, the links for that are below this video in the description. So these are really fun and easy to make, and you're just going to need a few supplies for this. You're going to want to have 65 pound cardstock, a printer, a glue gun, clear tape, candy, and my optional rolling mat and shaping tool set, which the link for that is also below this video. You can use it without it, but it does come in handy. If you have a cutting machine, you can use the print and cut method for this with the PNG images, or you can hand cut with the PDF printables with scissors. So let's get going here. Okay, so let's get started making our really cool doxy pillow boxes. So I have the template here. You can cut it out by hand or use a print and cut method with Cricut. And um, I have my Paper Blooms rolling tool and mat set here, which is optional. You can just fold with your fingers, but I find it helpful. You're also gonna need some clear cellophane. And I'm just gonna place this on top of the mat. And you'll notice you can't see it very well on camera, but there are little um, dotted lines along the edges and the and those are the fold areas and to make these areas fold a little bit easier I'm basically scoring them with my uh, dotting tool here so this is just kind of like um, getting the paper to where it will fold much more easily when I start to um, push on it and bend it with my fingers um, again if you don't have this don't wish to purchase something like this then just feel free to just fold it um, with your fingers, just try to go slow and careful to get it to crease in the right areas. This is just going to help guide the crease when I start to fold it. But before I fold it, I'm now going to grab my cellophane and I'm going to place it over the little open window of hearts um, and I'm going to cut out uh, what I need to cover that area. Uh, I have a set, I think it's seven uh, of these templates and a couple of them don't have the heart cutouts if you don't like that, so I do have that option there. Um, but I think it can be fun because then you can see the candy that's inside of it and you can glue it down or you can just use some tape I, I like to use tape because it's really simple and um, Hot glue might kind of melt it. I'm not sure I didn't try hot glue So I just recommend using clear tape here so that we uh, seal it off there and nothing can fall out of our box Okay, so now I'm going to just start to fold it here. I'm going to fold it down the center first because there's going to be a crease there. And then I'm going to fold the uh, outer edges next. So get those folded and once you do that, then um, you might you can, you can try and fold the outside edges, but I, f I find that those work best once you've already glued this first tab together. So go ahead and get that glued um, down. I do use glue here instead of tape only because it um, has a, a neater finish to it. Um, tape on the outside can kind of take away from the look and make it look a little sloppier. So that is a spot that I do use glue at. If you want to use tape, of course you're welcome to use tape, it would, it would work fine um, if that's all you had on hand. And then you'll notice that when you get to the sides of your boxes, once you've glued that first opening shut, the, um, the sides should fold in fairly easily for you, especially if you used the scoring method that I showed you at the beginning. Um, so you can add some glue there as well, or tape if you would like, and just fold that over and get it sealed and secure. And then we flip it over to the other side. You'll wanna leave it open until you fill your candy. And I just got some candy here, so I'm just gonna fill it up. And then you can close it up and add some tape or glue, or if you're handing it off directly, you could probably even just leave it unsealed if you really wanted to. Um, I always close it off with something because like, I think I have M&Ms in here, so I don't wanna have that fall out or anything. So you seal it up and that's what we have. We have this adorable doxy pillow box. It's great for Valentine's Day or any other little gift. And your loved one or friend can open it up and enjoy some candy. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this Valentine craft. To find more craft templates and tutorials, visit abbykirstencollections.com.